<laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna maybe go like this. Yeah. Yeah. That's all of that. Everybody. Okay. So this gets everybody. And then when it comes time for the principal's report, we'll just throw it around. This is everyone. Yeah. So I'm going to call us to order. It's uh, 6.02 p.m. We do have eight of us. We have a quorum. Seven is required. That's good. Yes. Uh, but let's go ahead and do the roll call. Um, I, I don't know if first, Marina has um, volunteered to be the second. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm oh, doing my yeah. uh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know. You like, said something to me. I was like, yeah, totally do it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This is so good. My first time, here. so just go eat. Oh, oh. So thank, you. Thank, thank you for doing that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Teacher rep, Lashonda's heart parent rep, Maureen Brzezinski parent rep, Liz Wontor principal, Audio Movie student rep, Gabriel mm -hmm. Reddit parent rep, Wanda Blumen on teaching staff, and Amy. So the next order of business is the approval of the agenda. Does anyone have any changes that they'd like to make, or would anyone like to motion to approve? I motion to approve the agenda. All right, let's start. Motion to approve. Anyone second? So, yeah? You guys are not on uh, the YouTube channel. It's a different stream, Miss Ferreira. Oh, okay. Yeah, go back to the channel and it's a new stream, but tell me if you can't see it. It's, a, it's called LSC meeting. Because this one here says we're here. Is it the Zoom or is this a YouTube? YouTube. Oh, okay, it just started. Okay, cool. Up All right. Okay, Go ahead. Mr. Reddick, second. All in favor? All right. All right, the agenda is approved. We have not received the minutes from last month's meeting, um, so we will we will have a chance to review those and approve them for in the uh, January meeting. So that one's postponed. Um, and then, Ms. Wanford, would you like to do the announcements and the results of the non teacher school? Yeah. So I'm pleased to announce that we have our poll for our non teaching rep. Uh, Ms. Abru ran unopposed and received all of the votes. <laughs> we had a total of nine teachers who voted, you know, but we, we still had to go through that process. So um, we're really excited to welcome Wanda Abreu. Member. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, Ms. Abreu, do you want to say anything about yourself or your experience? Well, this is not my first rodeo. <laughs> so this will be the second time I ran, and I'm a Sika. Um, I I do inclusion and um, I move into classes and I support our DL teachers. I've been here for about 12 years. Uh, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Um, I forgot to note the absences. So we did the roll call. Um, so not present are Mr. Treving. Ms. Savaka and Mr. Grip. All right, then that brings us into uh, the principal's report. Okay. All right, so I made you guys some mic first. And yeah, no, um, this was something uh, Ms. Bueller and I went ahead and we met to kind of talk about some of the principal evaluations. Um, and one of the things that they mentioned in the training was using something like this, like a tool, where you can have all the reports kind of right at your fingertips. I organize them by 
agenda and then budget report and then the slides from previous meetings right here. Now, I didn't put the budget reports from previous meetings because when I pull budget reports, it's like most up to date. So uh, what you have in here is just the budget report from this meeting, but I will continue to every week, just give you guys like hole punched agendas, slide handouts and internal accounts and the student based budgeting. So um, if you see you've got the agenda, you've got, and then the internal accounting, that's our checking account, right? Which is the next one. And then right after that is our non-payroll funds. So um, those are reports are kind of hard to read um, because there's so many numbers and like meanings of those numbers. But um, I will walk, I think I've tried to walk us through. It's, it's easier if I can just show it to you on a slide. And then when I show money to you on a slide, I'll try to point out where it is in that report. Okay. And um, I was speaking of a couple yeah. other items. Um, We'll talk about this more when we get to the principal evaluation um, portion of the agenda. But um, while she, while Ms. Wanter is giving her reports, if there's like notes that you want to make that kind of um, come to mind that you want to remember as far as uh, the different competencies, that would be good. But we'll talk about that further. And then also just a reminder, um, please save all questions until she's finished. And I'll try to remember to, because I'm such a, like, you ask me a question and then I answer it, so I probably don't help that. <laughs> right on break, Robert feels all the time. So I will try my best if we don't do that to be like, we're waiting for me. But it's not, because I'm trying to, I'm just trying to stick to Robert's rules. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So here we go. November updates, budget announcements, and celebrations. I just talked to everybody about our mission. Um, again, this is what um, we're driving for to our kids. This is our goal, um, driven by our core values. I already went over those in the state of the school. I won't go over it again. But let's start off with competency A. So um, we are, I think I talked about this last, if you were in my state of the school, but for those of you that weren't, um, we are in the process of implementing our interim assessments. Uh, this is still considered beginning of year. Um, for that particular assessment, we do have three cycles. So beginning of year, uh, we'll do mid-year more in the spring, and then end of year towards the end of the year. Again, these assessments are meant to really assess the higher level critical thinking skills and the transfer of knowledge. And it's really just meant for teachers to inform their planning. Um, we do have a large chunk of time on our December Institute Day dedicated to giving teachers the time and space to really do a good thorough analysis of that and reflect how the first cycle went. It's completely new. We want to make sure that um, we can hear how it went, adjust where needed. Attendance interventions, um, admins reaching out to below 90% kids. Teachers have um, reached out to families that are between 90 and 95%. Our attendance rate is um, much lower this year at this point than it was last year. Um, especially right before we went to break. I am, I am balancing and walking the fine line between trying to reach out to those families who I know are like chronically absent, um, but I also don't want to encourage families who have sick kids to come to school because we have had a lot of families. Hi, welcome. Okay. We have had a lot of, um, like frequently you get kids that are sitting in the office waiting to get picked up because they were sick. School, or they got sick when they came to school. Like it's not always somebody sending a sick kid to school. Sometimes when they get to school, it like comes mm -hmm. on. So um, and I know we're all working together on that too. You know, that's something that is a struggle. It's, it is a struggle. <laughs> I had a yeah. teacher come down and be like, I have seven kids gone. It was on Friday. Like, mm -hmm. Whew. So um, math enrichment programs, I think I mentioned this too. We are extending the pilot for our six graders, um, including more student choice in like self-selecting who is going to be in that uh, acceleration pilot, that enrichment. Those kids are getting a, an additional, so like kids that are actually in the math exploration program, it's a separate pullout for math. The kids who are in the sixth grade, they are getting it in addition to their tier one like math curriculum. Uh, and then one thing that we are using we're looking at data a lot more this year. Um, I created 
I am an armchair Excel person. I do like to use spreadsheets for things. And sometimes I feel like if you can put data together in a way that makes sense to people, that's when it's the most powerful. And so one of the things I worked on getting together everybody was we do now have um, a student data workbook. So this is, it's just a simple Excel file. I took all my fly out all the names so you can't tell what this is, but you can see in this one document, ooh, nice. It's not showing up on the screen now. Can you guys see my little book? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't? I can. Mm -hmm. Now it's all yellow back. Yeah. Where is it? Right it's, there. It's in on the um, GPA. On the ah, GPA. ha. I don't see it. Right down the green. It's little. It's very, oh, yeah, it's very little. Come on, Marvin. Okay. I was going to say that we can't be the only one. I was going to say, I don't see it. Um, as you can see, like, we can use this to disaggregate between, like, kids who might be for reduced lunch, diverse learners, um, race. Um, we're looking at things like GPA, on track data, attendance, um, looking at grades. Um, as well as star reading levels. So here we get more of a picture. We don't just want to look at those um, those standardized test scores. You know that that gives you a little bit of a picture, but we want to also look at other root cause. And you know, is a kid if a kid is getting um, a low grade on the uh, or a lower score on some of those standardized tests, but high grades in classes, like we want to see what that is and look into a little bit more, and vice versa, right? So um, this is something that we use and we um, will be redoing this every 10 week cycle. So this is from week 10. We're coming up on week um, 16, right? 16, 17. The new one will be week 18. Our quarters are all wonky, right? We have quarter, this quarter is like the shortest of them all. Mm -hmm. And then technically we're at the end of the, or the middle of the year, but the, the second semester is much longer. The, the quarters are longer, there's more weeks. Yeah. So. Um, competency B. So thinking about the professional learning systems, um, allocating resources. We have Ms. Evans, there's a picture of her right there. There's her desk. <laughs> she's not here, but she's fantastic. She comes to us from Middle Horse School. She's the second person that I've hired from Middle Horse School. Thank you to Principal Muhammad for letting her come to us. Um, she previously was a diverse learner teacher, but she's got some really great experience um, working on her like uh, behavior specialist um, certification. And um, she does. She is a learning behavior specialist, so she can serve as a case manager as well as. Um, really, really strong in MTSS. When she applied, she submitted a whole, oh, she submitted a whole file full of stuff that was just like really great tools that she developed for a previous school. Really glad that we could put her um, in a leadership role. So she's kind of taking a step up from a classroom teacher. Um, we've been focusing our grade level meetings on looking at Marzano's taxonomy and classroom rigor. We've created a tool, it's kind of like a rubric, we didn't create, we, we're using a tool, it's a rubric, and really looking at small group instruction, what does that look like in classrooms? Um, this week we, except for fine arts team, we're not doing this show week, so. <laughs> but uh, this week in grade level meetings, we kind of took the rubric, pulled apart what do different practices and strategies look like, um, and that's something that Ms. Barrera, myself, the ILT can use to give us some qu more quantitative like practice data. Uh, Skyline implementation, we are seeing some evidence of that. We're starting to do our reach observations and it's really like, I'm, I'm seeing a different kind of teaching in classrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really, um, it's making me feel like that was a really good decision for our school. I, I knew it was before, but I didn't get to really see it as much. And now it's like the text they're reading, the different kinds of discussion protocols, they're looking, they're self-assessing their own learning, like to get some of that metacognitive work in there it's just it's good good stuff um we started our reach teacher observations i think brer and i are both at, at about six or seven that we've gone through the cycle with um we had our esp and psrp mid-year self-reflections that were just recently due this past month uh, we'll be meeting with them this month into january to just get some mid-year feedback um, the instructional and culture leadership team, I say ILT, but we've merged those two teams, culture and climate and instructional leadership. So we call it the ICLT. So, um, we've been meeting regularly, bi-weekly. Um, they're the ones that really set that goal 
for us um, on the based off of the student data to get that year and a half of growth. They also are the ones that are leading a lot of our um, like work around financial minds, our, all the instructional initiatives. We're trying to really put a lot of that back on um, teacher-driven student leadership. And then we've got, yep, yeah, welcome Ms. Evans. I talked to you about that already. Okay, competency C, bring, building a culture focused on college and career readiness. For us, it's more high school and elementary. So we have the high school fair. It was really fantastic. Did anybody get to go to the high school? Claudia went to the high school fair, right? It was very, they, um, I want to say we had like 20 to 25 schools. Um, there was a lot of schools there, and we were able to have um, not just eighth graders, but um, seventh graders as well went. Um, and they had like a, they, it wasn't just going and talking to schools. Ms. Ignatovich made like a worksheet. Um, where they had to, I think, didn't you have to like go see? Yeah, we had to see like different schools. Like we needed to see a charter school and a selective enrollment school mm -hmm. and a private school. Yeah. So it was really good. Um, and we got some some really diverse schools here. You know, we got I think we even had like Latin that came. So some private schools. We also had um, just some non traditional schools that kids might not normally talk to or consider or think about. Mm -hmm. Science fair is wrapping up. Um, the school-wide science fair happened last week, and that was a really fun event to see all the kids. I'm sure some of you with the middle school kids have seen them working on their science fair projects. Um, I saw there was some, there was a lot, there was a really cool one with, like, there was a couple about apples and, like, oxidation. Mm -hmm. um, there was one where a student used, um, the one that stood out to me, like, I remember they, they used, like, pills that were different vitamins, yeah. right, to see, like, I think sometimes they, like, vitamins, or they would use, like, orange juice and things like that. But one experiment, they actually used, like, vitamins and put those on the apples and, like, saw which one did a better job of keeping apples from oxidizing. That was a really good one. And then I, I got to see a couple. I didn't get to see everybody's. Um, I wasn't a judge this year, but that's the one that stood out to me. Um, behavior health team. Oh, out of school time applications. So we have different uh, programs that are going to be starting in January. Those applications went out um, in my updates last week. There's one additional one we're going to be offering. Um, Ms. Wilson's going to do an after school math program. I don't know if you guys got that. Did you guys get that? Yep. Okay. Good. Behavior Health Team has really been cooking with gas, can I say, or moving with gas? Cooking with gas? We have um, connected about 30 kids to different interventions. So uh, Lutheran Social Services is one program, a new partnership. We're kind of learning as we go with them. They really service, um, what we're learning is that like less good for families that have private insurance, um, but if families have like a medical card or families are able or don't have any insurance, we're really able to connect kids with one-on-one -on -one counseling. Um, we have had a couple of bullying investigations and sometimes those will result in what's called like a safety plan. So the BHG does help to manage and develop those and meet with families. Um, and then like whenever there's a child who might be really struggling with um, like regulation or behaviors outside of like kind of like a need some extra support, we've been working with teachers to develop like behavior charts, incentives to really teach and reinforce positive behaviors. Um, middle school SEL curriculum and second step. So teachers in middle school and elementary school um, have periods and stuff during their day where they are teaching and having some explicit time around SEL. Um, that can be flexible with SEL or with, I know some teachers have used that to have like MTSS time as well. So really just depending on the need of the students in the classroom. Um, but there is an expectation that's school wide that we do have um, proactive teaching of those SEL standards. School-wide goals for student growth, I talked to you about that um, in regards to the STAR data. And then um, we are on track, we are 100% of our eighth graders have applied to high schools. Mm -hmm. So that deadline was extended to this <coughs> Friday. Um, we just got a report today from our network. Another green thing from the network. I'm not always on green. There's some things that I forget to do or don't turn in, but the important things like we're on green with the high school stuff and we are definitely on green with our branching lines. Um, we need to work on our safe schools. Not everybody's thinking of safe schools. <laughs> so those safe schools is like a platform that teachers get for compliance training and there's new stuff that just kind of pops up throughout the year. Um, and sometimes we even miss that there's a new one, you know, so that's something that isn't on my slides. That's a new one that just came out. 
the mercury one, right? Yeah. Did you get the mercury one? I just got the email about it. Yeah. I was like, so yeah, mercury like, spill training. <laughs> Who's got mercury at school? There was. <laughs> there was, there was I'm sorry. There was, and me too. I'm not following Robert's rules. I'm sorry. Oh. I shouldn't be talking right now to you guys, <laughs> but. But there are, there's mercury, like something that happened in another school in another state where there was like a mercury spill and they had kids coming home with mercury. They had to like shut the school down for almost a month to like clear up the mercury. So that's why, so CPS came out with a new training for us on that. Um, so it's it's right 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 training. Right Let's yeah. train, right? <laughs> Middle school, SC. okay, so, um, yep, we're all good there. How much is he D? We just got done with our state of the school meeting. It wasn't super well attended here. I need to think about how we can do that better next year. It might just be that we offered the online option. You know, I'm wondering if maybe that's why we didn't get as many parents. Um, and so, point of reflection for me. Um, FOF Parents Night Out. So they're working on scheduling a Parents Night Out at the Mara. I think in Uptown. So that will be coming on. Um, winter shows are next week. Um, on the 15th, 14th and 15th, 15th, 14th, yes, Wednesday and Thursday, we have several VIPs that are coming. Uh, we've got State Senator Sarah Feigenholz that's coming. We've got um, Pedro Martinez is bringing his team here for one of the days. Um, we've got, we don't have any aldermen. Um, who else do we have? There's some, I can't I can't think right now. There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you? I don't know. Anne has some. There's a there's a there's a lot. So we have that coming up. Um, drama studio show today. We just had the big show upstairs for the improv group. We also had a studio show last month for the clowning unit. So she had a unit on clowning. It was another like comedy show where kids were showing their clown and skills in it. <laughs> and then just recently, Miss Gray had oh, so proud you guys parker so we took our kids to parker we were invited to francis parker to have our um rock band play and it was us and another cps school and then the parker rock band and our rock band just blew everybody out of the water <laughs> it was so good yeah i was like see the cps knows how to do it i felt really really proud really great um we had costumes and everything. We had like the sequin. Miss Gray had them in tuxedos. Oh, it, was, it was really good. Yeah. That was cute. Um, and then competency C. So just thinking about self discipline, thinking in action. Um, we are continuing on with that C2K partnership, which is um, we have a partner with um, like a licensed social worker who's coming in and she's working with our intermediate team to really build their. Uh, muscle around trauma informed instruction. So um, her name is Abby and she's here on Fridays. Um, she works with Mr. Chung, Ms. Marisigan, and Ms. Rydell. As well as Mr. Minahan. Oh, and, Ms. and Mr. Minahan, thank you. Um, and it's something that we've really gotten some positive feedback with. Mm -hmm. so. um, facilities, we just, so like I said, we are bursting at the seams. Um, I think. We have really started to notice the cramping now that Ms. Ferreira and I are like doing reach evaluations and sharing the same office. So we are um, trying to get another like meeting space for teachers and us that can be used for like group meetings, team meetings. Um, so that, so we, we took our engineer and asked him to, uh, there's like a small room in the back of the auditorium and it used to be an old bathroom, but it's not being used for anything. And so we got approval um, and CPS is going to pay for like knocking down a bathroom wall, taking uh, and then like redoing like patches on the floor. And we're going to re envision that space to be like another satellite meeting space for us or that we can do for grade level teams. Um, that will probably not be done until the end of the year. Um, so, yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I think they, they like to do a lot of that work during breaks. Mm -hmm. During the break, they are going to be up on the docket is they're putting new flooring in the main office, in our office. Um, I don't know if you guys remember me telling you the toilet in our office exploded um, a year ago. Um, yeah, it got backed up, and that's how we discovered all of our plumbing problems. Um, so there's roots and everything growing in our trees. But aside from that, the, the backup is creating mold on the floor, and so we're able to get the whole floor replaced, which is good. 
And then um, you do need to, there's some spots in the cafeteria that need to be retiled, but we're waiting to do that. There's asbestos, so it has to be abated. Nothing mm -hmm. like huge or major, but we have to like wait till a time where we can completely close off the cafeteria. So that one probably won't get done until the summer. It's still safe right now. It's not like there's asbestos leaking into, um, it's like in a back corner and I think it's like there's traces of it under the floor, so they do have to abate it. Okay. All right, here's our budget. Um, again, just to walk you through, really what we are looking at are the funds available. Um, the bolded ones are the funds that we actually, like it's minus the teacher CTU money, right? So in all of our budget, we have each teacher gets $250 um, that is reimbursed by the union, but they load that on to the same funding source as their salary line, and it shows up on a non-payroll budget line. Does that make sense? You explain it to us. Okay. Right. Okay. So right now we're at forty-one thousand one ninety-eight. We need to spend some money um, because we want all of this money um, is the stuff we have to spend before the end of the school year. And so we do have some big projects on the docket, um, and we'll talk about those in a moment. These are our internal accounts. So this is the one that we don't want to spend right away because this is the one that's like checking account. It rolls over from year to year. We've gotten a lot more student fees in. So uh, we're up to $231,702. We do want to kind of watch how we spend this account because um, we have lost our contract with Chicago Sport and Social. Um, they, they say their field is, the baseball diamond is no longer usable. Um, we don't have lights. So we did lose that, but we still had our contract with Catherine Cook. So we do still have funds coming in, but it's very slow right now. And then since then we've spent 2037, and I'll show you what that was, where that's coming from. So from internal accounts, um, last month we approved, um, I think it was the 21, of that 21,000 that we looked at and we planned for, um, for like the after school tutoring and the online licenses. Um, we've spent 7,645 from that. We haven't spent it yet, but I moved um, about $5,000 to a bucket where we're opening up to hire that tutor. So we're trying to bring on a full-time like Franklin tutor. Um, we're looking at DePaul and speaking with some of their education students so that we can focus on intermediate and middle math. So that's something that we're trying to get started for quarter three. Um, we're waiting for the position to get posted, but once I get that link, I do plan to send it out to the community. If you know of anybody who's in school or wants to become a teacher, or maybe is a teacher at like a private school, we're looking for somebody that really does have that education background, um, not just good at math. You can't just be good at math and tutor. You've got to also know how to teach it. So um, feel free to spread the word. Up here we've got, um, we bought some t-shirts for, I think it's stage crew. Um, some things from Home Depot that we needed. Um, I think we needed some more of those blinds. Um, we didn't order enough of those, and we had to go pick them up. Um, Scholastic Book Fair, uh, we spent some money there initially, but we do get that back, right? Um, JW Pepper and Sons and or Miss Gray probably needed some music, um, $10. And then uh, the other t shirts that we had, we did pay for um, some drama, drama t shirts for. Um, stage crew as well as FIG, the improv group, um, from internal accounts. And then just some classroom materials. This, um, I think we put on there also like CTU reimbursement. So teachers need that. I know we ordered some calculators and some headphones. Um, some like those, not like audio headphones, but the noise canceling ones. Um, diverse learners get um, funds that are given to them because um, from the union it's like time for them to do IEP writing. Um, but our teachers by and large take that and choose to use it to buy supplies. So we're in the process. We had about $3,700 that we're splitting up between them and they spent um, $1,100 of that. And then technology, we ordered the Promethean boards and the MacBooks. We're just waiting for those to come in. So. Okay, so we need to go to approve some fundraisers. I know we tried to get everything at the last meeting, but I 
we didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's more that come up. So um, eighth grade was doing the babysitting. So they want to do um, like a babysitting night out at the end of the month. They're charging $20 for two hours, $40 for four hours. Um, they hope to make about $800, and that goes towards their trip. So, uh, And then flowers during the winter show. Again, that's going to benefit the eighth grade trip. Um, $5 per flower. Their goal there is to raise $300. This is a retroactive one that we forgot to include last month. Mm -hmm. You say we didn't include it. I already done it, but they did profit um, $13. 38 from that. So when it comes time to vote, we'll just come back to this side. Okay, so this is what we're proposing for today. Um, we have some extra funds that were given to us through the out-of-school time money. So it's, if you're looking at like fund numbers, it's 370. Um, and we'll look at the budget here in a second. But basically, we want to use um, some of the funds, we have about $12,000 that was given to us with the out-of-school time funding. And we want to use some of that to replace um, classroom furniture and to start, we need to start ordering a set of chairs for our new middle school for next year. Next year we're going to have all our doubles in middle school. And this year, at the beginning of the year, we had to like email out to schools because we don't have enough these big chairs. Mm -hmm. So these are like a hot commodity. And even the ones we have here are like old and some of them are broken. Mm -hmm. um, some of the classrooms that we want to, all of the classrooms that we're trying to replace those tables in have those old school student desks. So like the brown square desks mm -hmm. um, with like the spot under it, those have proven to be harder to sit at and work at for like small group instruction. And they get, they're just not, it really like the furniture is something that helps you to facilitate like how you're grouping your kids, how you're running your lesson even. So those desks look like they came from like the 1970s. They're very old. So something that our teachers pointed out that they wanted, it looks kind of basic and simple, but they want those trapezoid tables, like the ones you have in Mr. Zolzer's classroom. Yeah, um, because you can make creative arrangements with them. Um, they're a little bit cleaner, they look nicer, they're not falling apart. So what we propose is we would like to order 40 tables to replace the furniture in three classrooms. Um, in terms of tables, we need 62, so we definitely need one classroom of chairs for the new group coming up, but we wanted to order two classrooms worth so that we could look at the broken ones here, like these yellow ones, and start to like replace the ones that are either broken or um, have like writing and just aren't like, just look bad. So that's something that we can bring. Um, that is what we are asking for for today. And if you look at your budget, so open up to your budget line, the funds that we propose, look at the back page. So if you look at like the numbers, where it says unit, that identifies with Franklin. So Franklin is 29081, that's the back page. The funds are the different numbers. So 370 is ESSER relief dollars. And that's meant for the OST time, right? So part of the reason we're able to do this for these classrooms is because in the classrooms that we plan to replace, there are also teachers that teach after school programs. Mm -hmm. So it does support the programming for OST. And it also, like if you see, there are the lines that have 4,538, 6,447, and 1,388. That is all allocated for out-of-school time programming, which when you look at what we're doing, um, I think the best use of that is to really look at the spaces where we're doing out-of-school programming and get the double use, right? Like there are classrooms where we have after-school stuff, but also we really need to replace some of the furniture. This is more than we've ever had in those 370 lines. This isn't part of like student-based budgeting. This is part of what we get from OST. So that's what we plan to use is the six, the four, and the 13, just combining them on the same line. 
and then using that to fund this. This is also money that does go away at the end of the year if we don't spend it. All right. And then this is an upcoming thing that, remember I told you that the CPS gave PE teachers like a big lump sum this year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He has about 17,000. He spent 7,000 of that on just equipment, jerseys, things like that. Um, he has a big ask. So I told you guys he wanted the backboards, right? It's been evolving, right? So he's, he, I think it's like so much money he wants to make sure he gets like the best thing. So he's come up with a new proposal, which is he does want to get some sound baffling for the gym. Um, I'm excited about this because then we could use the gym space for an extra, like we could even, we can't do dances in there. The science fair was really tough because it was booming, you couldn't hear everything. We're doing a lot more home games. Um, and this is something where it's like a capital improvement where I, we're not gonna get this kind of money for PE again um, for a long time, I don't anticipate. And so I think that the best use of it would be to do some capital improvement. There's only, if you look at your budget, go to the first page, um, that budget line is, that's 115. So 115 is student-based budgeting, right? But it's student-based budgeting that is not like part of what we got for each people. It's that extra fund that CPS gave us. And it's the one that you look at that says there's $9,930.22. Um, we are not voting on this tonight um, because... I, first of all, I need to get further clarity on whether or not the LSC half does need to vote on that because it is over 5,000, but it's not part of student-based budgeting. Mm -hmm. um, but also, we want it, the whole thing would go towards that, and there's more money that's needed. So we're also looking to ask the Friends of Franklin, too. So we need to make sure that Friends of Franklin is willing to help with this before we propose it to the LSC. But I just wanted to give you a heads up that this is something that we're looking at doing as like a big purchase, a big capital improvement. Okay. Uh, so what we would do is we would take that, I rounded up 95, it's actually 93. He's also in the process of trying to negotiate them down. So his quote was like 1409 or 14,900 bucks around that. Like I told him like, see if you can get it down to like 1300 or 14, like see if you can negotiate it down. And then we'll ask for friends of Franklin to pay for probably between four or 5,000 extra of what it would take. And then if we can enable it all, then we'll bring it to a vote and talk about it in January. Okay. Celebrations. Oh, yes. I'm trying to get my presentation tied down. We're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Ms. Barrera got a NEPA award. So she is, um, she's being honored next Monday for being a community, like a, I forget what the exact name of it is, but she's basically like a community leader and have to recognize her for that. So um, congratulations, Ms. Barrera. Yay! She's going to be annoyed with me because I'm announcing it again. <laughs> is she going to? She's not going to buzz. Okay. Um, thanks again to Ms. Ignatovich for the awesome high school fair arts team. It's go time. It's big show time. Thank you for all you do. And then um, thanks Ms. Robertson and Mr. Zolzer for an awesome science fair. Announcements, the winter shows are coming up. Um, we do have a middle school dance called the Snowball Dance. Yeah. I also have a dog named Snowball. I, want, I wanted to see if I could like put a little Snowball's face on the poster. No. Um, but I didn't come up with the name, the kids did. So uh, it's December 21st through 5 to 7 p.m. I might need some parent chaperones. I'll reach out to you guys if that is the case. I'm going to see if we have enough teachers first. Um, but if we don't have enough, then I'm going to ask parents to help with that. Your kids would probably prefer that it was teachers. Right. <laughs> but I also appreciate having parents present. Um, it's going to be really fun. We have um, DJ Wantour at the um, table. Yeah. <laughs> we have, um, but we also hired a like an actual photo booth. So yeah, we had some leftover and internal accounts from the back to school bash. So that same mm -hmm. photo booth we had the back to school bash, mm -hmm. we'll have at the dance. The kids can't have their phones at the dance. So it's like how we make up for it. They can have the photos texted to them via the photo booth. Can we do, um, I'm sorry, no questions. Oh, we'll come to the end. We'll come to the <laughs> Thank you for catching yeah, no, yourself. <laughs> Thank you for catching yourself because I was not going to answer you, Mari. Sing Along is on December 22nd. We will live stream this for you guys. 
And then the bazaar is coming up. It's on the 20th. We've already started to get stuff in the office. So if you have anything you want to donate, bring it on in. Okay, questions? I'm going to let you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, can we sell concessions at the dance to help the eighth graders? Um, we can, but we will. We would have needed to vote on it tonight. That's a really good idea, though. We could do that for the Valentine's Day dance. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Can we do a tentative vote on it, and then you take it back to your ambassadors and see if they want to do it? Or We can't vote on it because I don't need that. Right. Yeah. But that's actually a really good idea. I wish. Can I just show up with stuff from Costco <laughs> and make a donation? We do have leftover <laughs> snacks from Foundation oh. Movie Night. Um, no, because we've been using those snacks for snack time with Wantour. So we, yeah, those are those are the. the um, but yeah, we could do it for the Valentine's Day dance. Okay. Um, and that would be a slices and stuff. Yeah. We're actually giving away pizza. Oh, okay. oh so okay. it's like yeah. So it might be nice to have one that's free and then one that's like bring five bucks or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I thought that at the ambassador meeting you didn't want to have uh pay to come. Yeah. Yeah. For the yeah, that's the one thing is we want to make this one free. Yeah. And we also wanted to make it an incentive for behavior. So that's the other one with this one is yeah. You can't get an office right. Like if you get an office for Earl, then you're not eligible to go. In the month of December only. We're not looking at historical, just December. Um, I have three questions. Um, so does this math pilot mean that the uh, Math Explorers program is in danger of being cut? Not at all, okay. no. But part of it is because those sixth graders, because Mr. Amrin is part-time and he only can teach three classes, he can't teach the two classes of sixth grade. Mm -hmm. And they want, some, they want that accelerated piece. So it's kind of like our fix for the next yeah. year or two. Um, he would be able to teach next year. He'll be able to teach mm -hmm. the sixth graders this year. Will be able to have him next year for just one year, yeah. and then once he retires, whoever the new person is, will be able to bring it back to the okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, what do these safety plans like? What essentially what are they? Yeah, it's much, you know, if there's kids that we know if there is a bullying behavior, which is very specific, like bullying behaviors are different than peer conflict. Mm -hmm. Bullying behaviors are, it's repeated over time. There's a power imbalance between um, either the, the one student or the other. It could be a group of students versus one student. So it has to really fall under that bullying definition in the yeah. code of conduct. And a lot of times what it is is teachers will get, like everybody, all the teachers get, the plan and it's really just separation, mm -hmm. right? So the kids, the kid who's engaging in the behavior and the child who is a victim of the behavior, mm -hmm. it's support for those kids. Like what are the supports you're gonna get to like social emotional, like one-on-one -on -one counseling or check-ins for really both. I mean, when you have a kid that's engaging in bullying behaviors, they also need support and direction in a different way. Mm -hmm. So the safety plan includes that as well as like separation for everybody. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then this winter show schedule. Mm -hmm. um, so the night show is going to fall on a Thursday, right? At 6 p.m. Okay. Um, so I've talked to a couple of parents. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, really from when this was like the night shows always fell on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. Students are a wreck the next day. I mean, like, they're just, they're, they're not, like, when the younger ones are not, mm -hmm. are just not functioning properly, and I'm just wondering if you could have that change for the next big show. Mm -hmm. what, what's your proposed change? Um, having, having the night show fall on a Friday, because mm -hmm. then there's this Saturday. That's definitely something to think about, and we have Miss Serrano here, right, who has heard that feedback as well as me, and it's something that we can try to think about for next year, too. Yeah. Right. I think it's a, I, I know like that was taken into consideration. Mm -hmm. I think we had a hard time getting people to stay supervised mm -hmm. when it's on mm -hmm. Friday. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It makes yeah. no difference to me, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. like yeah. that, that was a hard yeah. thing. And that's kind of a big ask anyway, mm -hmm. a long yeah. time to stay and be with the kids and a lot of backstage work. Yeah. So that was the, but 
we definitely can look at it. It's something you have to balance, right? Yeah. Like you have to balance. Yeah. Like we know the kids are going to be really tired the next day, mm -hmm. but we also have to have enough teachers here to yes. be in the homerooms with the kids who are performing. Yeah. It's also helpful for the for getting like the next having a day to clean up. Mm -hmm. Instead of waiting the weekend and then Monday, homerooms want to start with like yeah. they they want to be done, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. like we can't leave everything in their mm -hmm. classrooms and the stage the way it is. So that's the other reason we well and the week after like you saw the schedule you got the sing along mm -hmm. on Monday yeah. Yeah. and then you yeah. got the bazaar on Tuesday mm -hmm. dance on Wednesday yeah. yeah and then Thursday yeah. is, just is the last day of school mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But I hear you, like yeah. my own student goes to bed at so Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and parents were just concerned because um, one parent said that their kid was then sick for the next week because of, like, you know, things that were out of school, schedule. but mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. just the abrupt change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So if it's a party the next day, wouldn't help. <laughs> extra ice cream. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. see, she likes it already. I'm, I'm serious. Like, you yeah. guys did a, 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 put a lot of hard work in yeah. for a big so show. Great. Could be. It yeah. could be something maybe. A about. free day yeah. and clean up. On yeah, the, the clean up show. part. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's pajama day. Yeah. yeah, maybe it's just rough what she's saying is doing the regular school Monday schedule. So mm -hmm. maybe find a way to yeah, do like right. a fun day on Friday. Yeah. Which is what he's basically yeah. saying. Yes. Almost yeah. like how we have field day. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. And that makes sense maybe. because you give students like freedom to be like brief. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dad, honey, look at you advocating for the kids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. Oh, all right. Does anybody else have any questions? I had just one about the tutor. Would this mm -hmm. person be like during the day tutor or after, after school? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And I was just going to look. I, then that's all I need now. I was just going to look. Yeah. Okay. No, after school. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, think I had one uh, question as well. Um, the fundraisers. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about this when we get to the voting portion, but um, we did actually vote to approve the taffy apple mm -hmm. last month. It was the popcorn that was missing. So the popcorn the fun popcorn was missing. So oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just so I must have done it again. I remember so it was one. I remember it was one. And it should be the popcorn fun Yeah. Can we? Okay, so I will tell you that the popcorn fundraiser it's through FOF. So I think we can still vote on it today, even though I didn't put it on the slide. Can we still vote on the popcorn? I think so, because on the agenda, it just says discuss vote on various fundraising events. He said that's why he did that. Yeah. Remember, he so said so it's always on there. I am yes. so sorry. I didn't no, so no, technically, no. she could probably still do it on her first too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So let's do that. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's vote. Put the vote out and then still see. You know what, though? I didn't tell the kids it was going to be free. Oh. Free sessions. Yeah. No, well, I told them that they would. So the idea was that they would get like a ticket. Okay. Um, a ticket for to get like yeah. snacks? A ticket to get. Like now I'm like, okay. How many kids free? What would you pay for? Do you need help with that? Um, I'm sure the eighth graders would mind an additional. Yeah. <laughs> but I, although, um, let's. What, what do you think, Claudia? What do you think? So I think like maybe having additional mm -hmm. things and just mm -hmm. putting out something because it's really not fair to the students who are like, Mom, Dad, sign my permission slip. It's let's free. do that. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So we can do like we'll everybody will get like a pizza, pizza, mm -hmm. like a ticket for mm -hmm. a piece of pizza, mm -hmm. and everybody will get um like a. We'll have like water bottles and stuff. Like mm -hmm. if they want to buy yeah. like a soda, there you go. Pizza. There you go. Or candy or additional pizza. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, let's vote on that. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. Yay! Okay. 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 Adding it to the agenda. Add it to the minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That works. Are there any other questions from the LC board? Oh, I have one thing. What is the um, planned hourly rate for this tutor? 
thirty-five dollars per family per hour per family. We're not charging families. Oh, yeah. But hold on, what was the grade level again? The grade level, so for so we're looking at intermediate, right? Except for third, because we do have like two different kind of tutoring programs going on with third. Okay. Um, I'm looking at fourth and fifth, and really like six and seven. Yeah. Um, may, it just depends. So a lot of there's variables here, like depending on who I get and what grade levels. Um, ideally, I want it to be like Monday through Thursday. Okay. And I did thirty five dollars. Does seem like I don't know if it seems like a lot or a little, but the market rate that tutors are getting nowadays is really like people are charging like seventy bucks an hour, yeah. right? And so um, that's kind of why I set it a little higher. Um, I wanted to know, are you going to have dividers on the tables since they won't have the individual desks when they're testing um, the one that we're going to vote on for the, on the tables? Yeah, for the new middle school. You mean like testing, like standardized testing? Just any like testing. That? Like, you yeah. know, they're going to be at tables now. Yeah. So. Teachers have those kind of things in their classroom. It's not something that I myself am like, let's provide those more dividers. Okay. Um, but what I will say is that there are already, like Ms. Raydell's classroom, mm -hmm. so this was teacher choice. This wasn't Montour picked it out. It was, um, those are the same desks that they have in Mr. Zolzer and Ms. Raydell's mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they all kind of see that set up and like it. So I assume the teachers have a solution for everything. Okay. Yeah. It was something that they chose. Okay. If it's online, it's hard to, Oh, they, okay. they okay. don't, um, okay. not everyone gets the same yeah. questions okay. and the same order. So I just didn't, tough. I was just, but yeah, it's a focus. Yes, yeah. a focusing thing. And then I was like, oh, I don't want that to become an issue coming back. And yeah. they say the kids should have been, you know, had so much space and, and all of that for testing. Yeah. yeah. Well, and during the standardized testing mm -hmm. or the, not standard, but like the star and those kind of things. Mm -hmm. There are kids that qualify for small group testing or might have extended time who actually are out of the room. Mm -hmm. So there's okay. there's instances okay. where there's less than 30 kids and there might be just like two versus three. Mm -hmm. Those tables take three per table. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I just had a question going off of what you said about the tutor, like that just uh sparked something. But what is it to keep these students from skipping out on tutoring if this is a very, very expensive. Well, I would. I think that that's something where you know parents would probably make sure that their kids made it there. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of our parents really are interested in making sure that we can offer some more stuff for math, and our data speaks to that too. Our math data is a little lower than our reading data. So, yes. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, just with students that have a low attendance rate, that chronically low. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, if these kids aren't getting to school, I mean, what's going to stop them from? Well, it's, it's something that parents would have to, like, sign their kids up for. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 So it'd be for people who are truly interested. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, if there's no more questions from the board, does that make sense, please? I have three non-descript. No. Yeah. Thank you. What is the signal? Oh, the Christmas the thing. Is it that when they out going the, home, they sing the yeah, yeah, song? Yeah, Mr. And Santa. the Christmas thing? Yeah. 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 It's, 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 no, it's just no, Oh, okay. No parents. Okay, come on. You know what? She said, what, what is this? And, and maybe I, it's been a while, though, because last year it was... So oh, yeah. 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 Okay. It did have a couple of years now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because you were last year. Last year was my first year. I didn't know. 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 I didn Oh, so next year it would be eighth grade, two classes, seventh grade, two classes, sixth grade. When the eighth grade graduates, are the kindergartens going to start over with two grades? Mm -hmm. I don't have any kids being nosy. Okay. <laughs> the third thing, can you please update the LSC on the website? Is it not updated? No. 
Oh, you know what? That was probably happening at the time of uh, Miss Alexandra's swap with the new, because that's who was taking care of it at this point. Right. I can see how that good yeah. catch. Yeah, because I use the website because I don't get the communication. Do, do we all have pictures? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to probably need a picture. We, yeah, on there. Can I, like, choose something other than my school photo? No, like, yes. <laughs> 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 School so like, so like, when you, you want me to email our pictures to you? Yes. Okay, we can do that. And the industry is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Um, is there like a certain background? Or... No. Ooh. You can use your Sorry, I'm texting Mr. Er, Email Mr. Erb. Email Mr. Erb. Don't forget, because that one's going to like, that's going to be gone. All right. Yeah. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Then we will move on. Uh, to the next portion of our agenda. Thank you, Ms. Montour, mm -hmm. and everyone for your good questions. Um, let's move on to old business. The first item is the international picnic, which we have pushed until the spring, which we will do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the second, the principal evaluation committee updates, which I will cover. Um, I met with Miss Wontor last week, and we kind of just to get a game plan of what would be most helpful for her, and then also kind of uh, what we're thinking. And then I also, I'm not sure if, if everyone has had an opportunity to do the principal evaluation training for the LSC, but it was really good. Yeah, so um, I would recommend this, I would recommend you guys do that as soon as possible just because I think it really helps kind of provide a good understanding of what we're doing mm -hmm. as far as that goes. And based on that, uh, one of the suggestions that they had recommended was to make it a continual process of evaluating throughout the year with um, the report, actually. And Ms. Montfield had adjusted her reports this year to specifically call out the competencies that she is covering and how everything that she's doing, all of those competencies, which is really helpful. So now we have the binders. Mm -hmm. So what I would really encourage everyone to do, um, you know, as she's giving her report, is just make notes more for your own um, memory, because I really would like for our evaluation this year to be based off of, a large part of it, to be based off of her reports. And this is a really helpful way for us to to know exactly, you know, how she meant that. So it's not like the end of the year trying to recall, like, oh, did she really do a good job of that? What did she do for that? You know, so now we have, we can like look back. It's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. So, and we, so we're gonna keep these, we're gonna keep Palette yes. each month after. And, and these will be kept here. Yeah, okay. yep. so, awesome. so we don't have to worry about that. So yeah, just um, just kind of a best practice moving forward. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this would be a really helpful. What yes. website do you want to get that training? Yeah, it's the, um, I can send it to you. It's, okay. the, um, it's on the LSC CPS. You know, and I'm still having issues with that. I'm only missing three, and they're like, oh, they'll all be on. So, like, I did they're, one they're or two, on. and then I got six, but I'm yeah, three, sorry. four, five hours. I know, I mean, so they're missing. So I'm not doing anything wrong by doing it as they just no, become available. No, and I asked them. <laughs> yeah, and I actually looked today again, and they haven't put on the December trainings yet. They're still November, so. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming next year they'll get it together. I hope They so. just yeah. need one more year from so, so they get They're kind together. of building it as their They got five. Like they're going. Yeah. Yes. yes. I will. I will do that. Thank you. Yes. If there's like a link for that specific one you're talking about, can you just send it to Yes, anybody? and I, I looked to see if principal okay. advice was on there. It was not. Oh, okay. it was last right. month, right? It was last mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll ask, and I'll let you know that LSU Relations person. She's really nice and she always responds. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so that's kind of how we're going to use our binders moving forward. Um, secondly, we talked about the survey another change that i really wanted to make or that we wanted to make from last year's uh, evaluation process was that we wanted to provide Ms. Montour with feedback earlier as well from staff um, so that adjustments could be made and it's like a, a living breathing you know process rather than again an end of year hit everything at one time right 
And then, yeah. then you have a whole summer to try to figure out, like, which you did a great job, honestly, mm -hmm. because some of the big issues that we talked about last year from the evaluation, you were on it, you're addressing those, mm -hmm. um, those concerns. So you do that well, but I think it would be nice if we can do it. You had seen on the agenda, but didn't speak to it. What, was there something in particular you had on there for? I was actually just checking. I was being the... On the slide, you mean? Yeah, it was on your principal uh, check -in. Oh, I think I, or we just met again, right? oh, okay. and I put that on that slide because it aligns with competency, which yeah. is self-discipline thinking and action. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Sorry. I must have skipped it. That was totally intentional. No, I was just like, I was making sure it wasn't something that I was missing. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, so Ms. Wonder plans to send out, well, maybe you want to speak to what you intend Yep. Yeah. So... Something that, so earlier in the year, um, I think I was thinking back to one of my experiences when I was a teacher, something I saw my principals do, which I really appreciated was they did a middle year, they would do like give us some feedback about how we're doing. Um, because sometimes like when it gets busy, like you're kind of, you're working in your, you're, you're working on one thing and you might, you don't hear from everybody all the time, right? And something they did was they sent out the feedback survey, they got it, they looked at it, but then they also reported back out to their teachers. They were like, okay, so we got your survey, and what we're seeing are trends here, here, and here. Mm -hmm. What's going really well, according to you, is this, this, and this. This is how we plan to continue that. We're seeing that this, this, and this are some areas of unmet need, um, and really like talking through for the rest of the year what we need to do to meet those needs. And so we did do it. We started, um, we made the survey, I sent it out on Monday. Um, and it was really just like, it was really kind of a casual. It was like, what's going well? What are unmet needs? Any additional comments? And then the second part of it, we asked some like Likert scale questions around communication, um, school culture, and what's the last area? There's like three of them. It's my I think I've wanted to instruction. Instruction, yeah. yeah. So like being present in classrooms, um, giving feedback on instruction. And so um, we're gonna take that and analyze it, report back out to teachers during the December Institute. And then like in our next evaluation meeting, kind of like share some of those results with the evaluation team, just to kind of see like, this is where we're on track. These are things I'm still hearing. Um, and some thoughts and ideas around that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's great. Mm -hmm. um, that's great that you sent that out. But, um, mm -hmm. So then we have kind of following up. We plan to then, we also discuss the fact that it, it is still helpful for Ms. Wanford if we need kind of have more of an informal conversation uh, quarterly, we decided. Mm -hmm. So, um, and those will be closed session. And so we decided January mm -hmm. and March yep. will be, will, will be when those two take place. So I'm hoping that now we kind of have like the perfect balance of like concrete, like in writing, this is what she's doing throughout the year. And then also kind of balancing that, um, getting, you know, allowing you pursuing feedback throughout the year for, from your staff, which is awesome. And then at the end of the year, we'll still do that parent survey from the LSC, which will then give us an opportunity to also like involve um, the broader community. So we can kind of get Get, um, multiple, you know, ways and sources of, of supporting Ms. Wanzor. Again, the whole idea of this is that we want to support Ms. Wanzor so that she can, um, you know, she can't hear from everyone. Mm -hmm. So we really want to be able to um, help in that process mm -hmm. and make Franklin the best that it can be. And, um, you know, it's an important year. Next year is the contract renewal, which we also discussed that. Um, mm -hmm. I think we can hold the thoughts on that until um, maybe another meeting, but mm -hmm. I think um, we have a good process. So what do you just wanted to open that up? Feedback? What do you guys think? Is there anything? I don't think it's a good idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel good about it. Mm -hmm. I feel like last year we tried, mm -hmm. you know, and having a committee, and I felt like that wasn't maybe necessarily the most effective use of everyone's time. So maybe this is better. So, well, and that that meeting uh, that evening was a really long meeting, right? And so I think yeah. not that 
it shouldn't be a long chain, but I think also having like I like that I, I really like your idea of binders. Not just yeah. because I love binders, but because, <laughs> um, it's something that I already kind of had on my to-do list to create for myself, you know, to keep all of our stuff in one place. So it's good that everybody has that too. And just so you know, too, um, I put the principal evaluation rubric in the folder pocket. Awesome. That rubric is changing next year. So um, I'm already working with the new rubric um, with my network chief. She's using it with me mm -hmm. um, to evaluate like as a trial year. And I'm evaluating Ms. Pereira using that rubric, but it, it doesn't count. It's a trial year. Mm -hmm. So um, it, next year, just expect, um, it looks a lot more like the Danielson framework. Like it's four domains, which I'm looking the, at. Yeah. The, it's the way, it's the teacher framework. So yeah, a little simpler. I actually like it better than this one. There's some categories here, like the last one, that's kind of like the every, everything else in the kitchen sink that we didn't think about. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and um, this one's a little more uh, clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. great. All right, so I think then we will move on to the next item on the agenda, new business, which is the discussing and voting on the various funding <laughs> events. <laughs> Future awesome. and retroactive. Right on so. time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so can we go back to that? Let's do it. Um, I'm so sorry I messed that one up. That's okay. It was helpful, though, again, speaking to the binder to look back and say, yes, the apples were on the last one. So yes. Yeah. Well, and that one, I think the reason I got it mixed up, they were both on Miss Robertson was like, giving me a bunch of them. And I thought, because she gave me that one, we didn't get time done. Yeah. All right, so babysitting flowers during the winter show, and then not Appy Tapple. But the selling concessions at the um, winter and popcorn, yeah, and the popcorn, yeah. Okay, would anyone like to make a motion to approve the? Well, what's the babysitting? Is that just they go to people's houses, or is it no, here? It's like, where, but Rara is usually oh. here with them, supervising, okay. and then they watch the little kids, parents okay. bring them in for a day of shopping or a day to themselves. So what have you? Rest the sound of that. I think Robertson. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no one told me yeah. anything. So, uh, Robertson, um, actually, this Robertson um, and the eighth grade students. Not so yeah. She has eight grade students that babysit, mm -hmm. like, younger kids. And it's $20 for two hours, 40 for four. So it gives them her child. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So. It's kind of, I yeah, think exactly. the, the idea too was that it was going to be um, for winter break so that people, well, if they needed to go shopping, and just kind of that. Mm -hmm. so, oh, so it's just over winter break? It's a good it's one. It's the, uh, she it's said, like, this is not every Friday. Friday. It's yeah. scheduled. <laughs> I'm mean, like, over winter break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what it is? It's actually the 16th, it's the Friday after the last show. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they're all a mess. That's oh. next Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like after school, or mm -hmm. let me double check. It's, it's either the Friday, or is it the Friday that they're out of school? Mm -mm. No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, it's oh. the Friday. No, like after yeah, it's the Friday after the show. Okay, so that's the sixteenth. Yeah. Um. Yep. So, does any. Yeah, any other questions or anyone wants to make a motion to approve? I have a motion to approve the babysitting fundraiser for the eighth grade church. Would you want to just approve all of them? Oh, yeah, I'm okay, but I have a motion to approve the babysitting fundraiser for the eighth grade church. I'm doing the winter show, the pineapple, the popcorn. Popcorn. Mm -hmm. Who is the pineapple under the sink? <laughs> the popcorn. <laughs> the popcorn. <laughs> And um, a possible dance fundraiser for the eighth grade for the uh, dance mm -hmm. fundraiser too for concessions. Mm -hmm. All right, would anyone like to second? That's Mr. Carr. Motion. I'll second. Mr. Rana seconds. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Uh, and I, I have said. All right. Yeah. Any extensions? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next item is the discussion and voting on the purchase of the new classroom desk. Are there any questions or thoughts about this? Only like make sure we get the ones that don't 
Yeah. Yeah. These yeah. right here will not be able to go to Franklin. So, well, yeah. <laughs> that's the ones that make a lot of <laughs> And the color is not that color. So, okay. if you want to do black, okay. do black, and then like a cherry wood finish. Top. Okay. Like okay. a big yeah. cherry wood. Like this, but darker. Oh. Do they have to be assembled? I thought you were in the bathroom. I'll talk to you about it. Who is in this? <laughs> Mr. Kevin. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they're not that hard because it's just like the legs, legs, legs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but maybe we could get some parent volunteers to help us assemble. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Right, 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 right. 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 Right.
you're talking about her program, right? Okay. So she already has the tutoring that she's doing at the school. And I believe that went out on the OS. So give me a second. I'll bring it to Wow. Yeah. Oh, just end that stream now. Okay. Um, <laughs>